right, survivors, welcome back to the long dark. We're picking up just about where we left off here after the end of the last episode. We're inside the maintenance yard during the Aurora Borealis event <laughs> that just kicked in last night. And we are on our way to the this uh, location right here. It's a log cabin or a hunting cabin in search of the magical spear that can kill the demon beer. And that is what we want to do eventually. We can get back on with our lives in search of Astrid. But uh, for right now, we're going to stick inside. It's getting a little chilly out. Um, sun is coming up, however. But we don't want to go out there yet until this event ends. The wolves are green and glowy and even more savage than usual. They do not like the light, though. In fact, they hate the light. Someone left that little note there for us. I'm assuming they mean the wolves. So, as long as we stay near the lights, we should be okay. Plus, if we're indoors, they can't get us anyway, right? They can't open doors. Maybe they can. Dun, dun, dun. Plot twist. All right, let's get inside here. I don't think we need the rifle. We've already been in here once. We just didn't loot it properly. So, let's do that now. All right. Still got the northern lights. And we have holes in the ceiling here. <laughs> so, that is giving us some light to see by. Plus, we have the power on during this event. But I still can't see that well. So let's let's use our lantern here. We've got plenty of fuel in it. And my guess is we're going to find some lantern fuel in here. This place is pretty big. We didn't loot it at all in the last episode. So this is going to take some time. This stuff will come in handy. Yes, that will. The more flares, the better. Although I left a bunch of flares um, behind at some point. Because we had like 20 of them. Running shoes. Yeah, I like to run away and stuff. But they're not really good in the snow. Uh, that goes back outdoors. We don't need to go out right now. Oh, where does this go? Yeah, I didn't see this in the last episode. Nowhere, really. I can't jump and climb on these crates. I don't see anything up here useful. Yeah, I don't think there's any buttons to press or anything right now during this event. That's what I was hoping for, thinking might happen while we're in here. But it doesn't seem like that is the case. Got a workbench here. Uh, oh, yeah, a rifle cartridge. Very nice. Oh, pry bar in the truck. We didn't check the insides of the truck. Or the truck bed. Oh, there's cloth. Okay. We did find some new clothes. Let's, uh... Didn't we find some new long johns? Yeah, long johns right here. These are actually really good. The wool ones. Even though they're worn, they're still better than these, um, that other kind. We will fix them up and they'll become even betterer. But we can't do that right now. Let's um, we'll do that when we go back out. Will's getting all nice and warmed up inside here. We don't even have to get a fire started or anything. Nothing in these drawers, really? Come on now. Stuff come in handy. Cured leather. There we go. Lantern fuel. Ooh, and guts. Cured guts. Like a sausage. We could eat that, I guess. Hard sausage. Did we come up here yet? No, we didn't come up this way. No, oh, there's a whole... Looks like a whole new office over here. A bunch of metal. I'm going to grab everything and then collect it all and then maybe drop it in one location. We can't carry it all with us, but I have a feeling we're going to come back here because there's some kind of a forge. Is that the forge? That's the forge. But we can't use it. we got to turn it on. Turn it on. we got to get it lit. we got to crank it up to 270 degrees Fahrenheit. Look at all this lovely coal and wood. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I think we're going to use this forge. Oh, here we go. we got the heavy hammer. Quality tools, saltines. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, we're going to end up using this, I'm pretty sure, when we get the spear. I'm just, I'm, I'm guessing we're going to need to fix it up. It's going to be broken or dull or something. So I think I'm going to drop all of the wood and stuff right here. At least not all my wood, but most of it. And we'll come back here and get that fire started. Um, I've got some other heavy stuff here, too. I don't think I want to do this right now while the lantern is burning through our fuel. The quality tools are really good. We can use those to do some repair work. Um, you know what? So I will snatch them. But if we do repairs, we're going to do it um, where we can see. And we're not using up fuel. It's a uh, precious resource. And there's no sense doing it here in the dark. Oh, there's a bunch of metal here. Yeah, I'm going to drop all the metal here too. Oh, no. There's a dude. A dead dude. Frozen dude. Oh, man. All right, let's check his pockets. There's nothing on him. He's got a note here. He's always a forest talker. One of the activists that was boycotting the power 
company or something. Hand-printed Forest Talkers recruitment flyer. Let's read it. It's time to rise up. We can no longer stand idle and watch our beloved Great Bear continue to be raped by the resource companies. If you care about saving this land, meet up at the Old Lodge on the outskirts of Mystery Lake Provincial Park. Call cell service and sat phone access is spotty, so use the sneaker net. Remember, they're watching, so be careful who you trust. Alright, let's take that. It's probably going to put a waypoint. Uh, maybe it will. Maybe it won't. Um, said Mystery Lake, right? Well, you know what? We'll check that out later. Yeah, I think that's like a cache or something. We'll check it out later. Again, with this fuel burning. Oh, wait a second. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Nitrogen fuel and another lantern. Let's turn this one off and check that one out. Uh, here it is, right here. Okay, so it has a little bit of fuel in it. Let's use that one up instead. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Oh, sorry, buddy. I'm stepping all over this poor fella's corpse. That is horrible. All right. Uh, well, again, I'm going to bring it all over to one spot, drop it all down, and we can go I think through I can all use later. This. Lots of lantern fuel. I told you. Just seemed like a place that was going to have a lot of lantern fuel. I wish I could jump over this poor guy. No jumping in this game. Sorry. Sorry, dude. I'll just squeeze by here. All right, I'm going all willy-nilly here, but I want to get this done and get going. The sun is now rising. Oh, the lights are out. Yep. There goes the um, crazy northern lights. Oh, well. Didn't really do us any good anyway. That I could tell, but pretty cool storyline. There you go. Worn thick wool sweaters. Thick, thick wool sweaters are actually really good. Water. Let's take. Um, let me take it all. Yeah, we'll drop what we don't need. Can't pass up on the H2O. Put it in the trash. I don't think we need the newsprint. Driving gloves. We can use the materials, of course. Another open locker. So we found another pry bar. I wonder what condition it's in. It's good to have two. This thing's this wear down. We don't need work boots. I'm gonna grab them. Gonna be super heavy until we start dumping stuff out. One windbreaker. Grab it for the mats. Tomato soup is good for the soul. Oh, that's chicken soup, right? Oh man, I'm moving really, really slowly here. Duh. It's starting to weigh me down. Yeah, I just said that will. All right, let's put this down because it's cool and you can. And I'm gonna drop a bunch of stuff right here. Like, oh, I'm using both crowbars at the same time. That's dumb. Um, pry bars, that is. Uh, let me drop one of these. Yeah, let me just drop a few things here. Flare. All right. Still getting organized here. Let's put the tools back on the shelf. I don't think we're going to need it for this journey, that's for sure. We still didn't even finish looting this entire place, but I feel like we're going to come back anyway. We have to come back. To do the foraging is my guess. I'd like to get up to the to uh, that hunting lodge before the sun goes down, and get that spear. I don't know what the temperatures are out outside like right now though. That's the only thing. That is the variable. Oh look at this. We have all this over here too that we haven't even looted yet. I don't think we're gonna need any of it to get the spear though. So we'll come back for it. Can we get a fire started in here? I think there's a fire barrel right. Uh, I thought I saw... Yeah, there's a fire barrel right there. Just in case we have to heat up some food or some drink to get warmed up. But, yeah, that's everything. That's everything. Let's go. Well, it's everything I want to get right now. <laughs> we don't need anything else at the moment. I want to get out of here. Go get that spear before it gets dark. Um, how do I get out? Where is my door? Let's boogie. Let's get to that lodge. I hope it's not too cold. Oh, it's a nice sunny day. It is a little bit cold. Just a tad, but we can handle it. I did put on the new clothing, by the way. Got the two pairs of climbing socks. I've got the two nice thick sweaters. I didn't repair everything yet, however, because I don't have, uh, I just didn't have the time. We'll come back for that and those lovely long johns, too. All right. We didn't check all these cars out or anything either, but we'll get to that eventually. I think this is the priority right now. While we have daylight, while Will is not tired, what the heck? Sounds like a sick deer or something. 
Yeah, I'd like to go get this part done, and then we can return here. And fix up the spear, bring it back to Jeremiah, and take it from there. Ooh, there goes my phone. Hold on. <laughs> That'll take you out of the immersion, won't it? All right, this is a lovely place. I love this nice snow. Mmm, there's a hunting blind over there. I see animals. At least one animal. And we're heading in the right direction according to my arrow. So that's easy. I don't see any wolves out. I don't know. I don't like the silence. I hope this ice is strong enough to cross. I mean, the deer are on it. We take very small steps. Oh, I hear... I hear water flowing. Maybe not. It might have been the water bottles in my backpack. We'll check the blind, of course. Oh, boy. Okay, the wolves are still here. They didn't forget about us, clearly. <laughs> Hunter's blind. Check the floor. What do we got here? Oh, a snare. By the way, we have some side quests, don't we? We have to shoot some things. Let's see. Snare a rabbit. Oh, we snared a rabbit. Right, we got that out of the way. Survival school. Color wolf in Mystery Lake. All right, well, we'll do that. Learn to craft fishing tackle and catch a fish from Mystery Lake. Yeah, we don't have to do anything here. So I'll just bring that snare with us. Although we could just put it down here. I don't see any rabbits, though. All right, let's just bring it. Let's just bring it. And how do we get through here? Looks like there's a pass this way. There's a bridge here. My guess is we're going to have to go all the way around. I don't think we can climb these mountains. They ain't going to make it easy for us. They never do. Yeah, there might be a rope here. Oh, there's a cave. Ooh. All right, let's go do it. Let's go check out that cave. Hopefully there's nothing inside living there. Can I reach that? Yeah. We do have to make a few more of the um, poultices, don't we? Grab it for now. We'll check that out later. Gotta keep moving. It's a little chilly out here. Hello, bear! Big old demon bear in here. It is dark. Grab the wood. It's real dark. What is that? I don't like how dark. Um, should we light it up? Just quickly. I don't want to miss anything. Oh, music. This could be that old bear's cave. I don't see any bones or anything, though. So, probably nothing lives here. Alright, turn it off. Yeah, that's weird. That's weird. Alright, well, we're gonna have to go over to the bridge. Has a detour, come around and go up that way, looks like. So it's a good thing we left uh, ourselves all this daylight. Good call, Paul. Or Will. Whoever made that decision. Oh, that's not a good call, though. Oh, boy. Can we... Can we make that? Even the smallest falls here are detrimental to Will's health. <laughs> Seems like he uh, twists his ankle anytime he falls a half a foot. All right, back up on the road. Uh-oh. That's not good. If it's locked, that's not good. It's not locked. Okay, it's fine. Close it behind us quickly. Okay, no bear. <laughs> Yeah, you know how that bear is. He loves to sneak up on you right when you get inside a fence or a uh, train car. <laughs> he's a day late and a dollar short. Poor guy. One of these days, he's going to be right on time. But by then, we'll have our spear, hopefully. I do remember this coming up this way before in the old playthrough. 
vaguely. Seems seems familiar anyway, but the spear was not in the old playthrough, in the old uh, Winter Mute story mode. But this cabin must have been. I don't remember why we came up this way, but I'm pretty sure we did. Nice and warm out right now. Temperatures are actually rising. Feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. But not too good. Not too good. Don't get lulled into a false sense of security. Say, hey, wolves chasing wabbits. Oh, there's another one right here, even closer. Oh boy. I wonder if that guy saw us. No. Okay. Let's get the high ground so we can see a little better. Just want to stop and listen. Oh, is that the lodge? Hold up. Yes, it is. There it is. It's in the distance. We can see it. That's good. Gives us some hope. Just have to make the last leg of this trip. Just got to get by this fella right here. And he looks like he's going to climb up the mountain and probably turn around when he realizes that's a lost cause. <laughs> and then we can slip right behind him, maybe. I don't know if we want to go through the hunting grounds over here. There's a lot of wolves chasing the wabbitses. Let's move. Oh. Don't move. Break your silhouette against the tree. Okay. Okay, we're good. Okay. Yeah, I think we got plenty of space between him and us. Slow it down, Will. Will's in a rush. I know it's scary, but you gotta slow it down. Mystery Lake Lodge. Mystery Lake Lodge? What? Is that what it's called? We're not even near the Mystery Lake anymore. Are we? What the heck? Whatever. Call it anything you want. I don't care. I call it Sanctuary. I don't remember coming up here before. I don't even know if this was in the old story mode. But I do remember that fence in the, in the gate. <laughs> oh, this little rabbit prints. Huh? Is those a rabbit prints or wolf prints? Hard to say. Uh, yeah, it look like wolf prints actually. All right, stay low. This place is crawling with them. Crawling with wow. the furry kind. This must have been really nice once upon a time. Once upon a time. It is nice. Little hunting cabin. I'm gonna grab these mushrooms. Alright. Just a little sidetrack there, but we do need them. <laughs> Let's get inside. Hunting Lodge. New location discovered. Can we just go right in the front door? Bunch of cars we can uh, rifle through later, too. Well, it's unlocked, so in we go. Now, to find that spear. To find that spear. Where would they keep a magical demon killing, demon bear killing spear? Oh, tea, rabbit. And rabbit. Cooked rabbit. Mm mm mm. Let's eat it right now. I'm hungry. Spear can wait. Oh, it's ruined. <laughs> I'm going to hang on to that. We can use it to um, to bait, right? As a decoy. Let's just keep that well-fed benefit there. Got a soda right here. Okay, now let's find the spear. Do we need a lantern? I don't think so. Bunch of fire starting materials here. Burning materials. Awesome. In case you want to get a fire going. Well, well, well. Right on the mantle, of course. Right above the mantle. It's the broken spear. Yeah. Oh. Looks like one little detail got missed in the trapper's legend of the old bear. The spear didn't Too survive heavy. the fight. Must be something I can use to fix it in that old machine shed. Well, I'm like ten steps ahead of you. I've been talking about that the whole day. Yes, I had a feeling it was going to be busted. Yes, it is. It's right here. It's a broken spearhead attached to a salvageable maple. Hello? What the heck? 
I thought that was my phone. What is going on? That's an emergency phone box. Hello? Oh, call back. Dang it, I missed the call. That was weird. Wait, how do they have power? Phones don't need power. Right? Old phones don't need power, but they, there has to be a connection. There's gotta be a connection from somewhere. How could I miss the phone call? Dude! Oh, I hope they call back. Ah, oh, dang it. Anyway, alright, so here's the, sh the spear. It's a broken spearhead attached to a salvageable maple shaft. And yeah, it's it's not in very good shape. I don't think it's gonna kill anything. Maybe a rabbit. If you hit it really hard. <laughs> but probably not that demon bear. Okay, well we got some looting to do here and I'm, I'm hoping that phone rings again and someone tries to call back. Who could it possibly be? Alright, I'm grabbing everything. Everything. We're going to be super heavy, but once again we'll go through it all. Decide what we want to hang on to and what we want to leave behind. Because we can't bring it all. We'll feast right here. Oh, look at this. We have a nice big stove. Wow. Cooking pot and a can. I think we should get a fire going before we leave. Cook up some food. Be nice and hot. Get a hot belly. And then we'll hit the road. Let's check upstairs. Oh, what is this? Oh, oh. Let's go up first. Before we go in the basement, we will go up. Ah, History of the Collapse, Part 3. Unhappy with their growing dependence on the mainland for economic support, as well as the mainlanders' continued view that Great Bear exists solely as a resource, Claring House, for their benefit, some people who, who chose to remain a Great Bear decided to engage their self-sufficiency. You guys can read the rest of that. I'm going to take it and tell you I'm going to read it later. And hopefully I'll get to it. <laughs> Uh, we'll see. Anybody home? Hello? Nobody here. This does ring a bell. Yeah, you know what? I have been in this lodge before. Some ammo. I remember the chest. I remember the rocking chair. I don't remember the sport socks. Uh, I'm gonna grab them. We might do some repair work here today. But we probably... Well, we could spend the night here, actually. Because it's a nice fireplace, it's a safe place. We can eat, drink, fix up our clothing. Use this. Yeah, cargo pants, cargo pants, cargo pants. Um, I have cargo pants, don't I? I think I have better than cargo pants. Ah, the work pants are better. Anyway, we'll bring them. Might want the material. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to hang out here for the day or the night. Well, the day and the night. And then in the morning, we'll head back to the forge. I'm hoping whoever called earlier will call back again while we're here. Maybe tonight. Plus, there's a nice cozy bed here with blankies and everything. Unlike at the maintenance yard, where we're going to have to sleep on the floor. Well, there is a bed, but it's, it's not in the actual shed part. It's in the broken, like, foyer area. This. Oh, yeah. New toque is nice. Another bullet. A lot of ammo here. If I'm missing anything, let me know, because I will be able to see your comments before we leave this place, probably. Because we're going to end here in a moment. Yeah, there's nice beds here. Nice beds with blankets. Work boots. Getting super heavy again here. Is that all the rooms? No, we got one more room here. Oh. Bathtub. This stuff will come in handy. No. Extra bandage is good. Two extra bandages. Alright. We haven't had any... I, I shouldn't say this because I'm going to jinx myself. But we haven't had any close encounters with wolves. We got the gun at a pretty good time. We've been charged an awful lot lately. But... We always had the gun with us when the wolves charged us, so we were able to kill them before they got too close. So we haven't had any hand-to-hand -hand fights with wolves yet in this playthrough. <laughs> I mean, they're not a lot of fun. It's happened before. Well, 
I guess we're going down now into the basement. I got my gun out just in case. Wow, look at this place. It's giant. So much more here. Oh, the flashlight. Yes. Oh. Yeah, grab it, Will. I don't know what's so special about it. Well, it is special because you can flash it in the wolf's eyes. Feels like a lot of gear. It is a lot of gear. Do you want to say anything about the flashlight, though? Because you made a big deal about it. <laughs> it can be used to flash in the wolf's eyes. But it only works during the Aurora. Battery's dead. So it will become a uh, it will become a weapon. It will become weaponized at some point. You might need it. Yeah, alright, there's a lot here. Um, well, heck, let's just loot it right now real quick. And then we'll call it quits for this episode. It's getting really long. Another rifle cleaning kit's great. Look at all the ammunition. How much ammo do we have now? 54 rounds. Wow. You could take on a whole army of wolves. Okay, gauntlets. Could end up being useful. Heavy duty hand coverings that extend part of the way up the arm. We might even need those to do the forging, so I'm going to grab them. Nuts and stutch. Nuts and stutch. Inside here, there's a note on this desk. Ooh, a couple of flares. I'm going to put the gun down now. Uh, let's read the note. Forest Talker map note. Written note and map showing the location of the Forest Talker's camp at the old lodge building in the hills beyond the maintenance shed. Isn't that where we are? Meet up at the abandoned hunting lodge on the outskirts of Mystery Lake. GPS coordinates. Unreadable. Yeah. Isn't that where we are? Is there another camp somewhere? Oh, there it is. For there it is. Forest Talker cache. So it's just a bunch of caches all over the place. Very good. There's a big, nice climbing Aren't rope down here? there. Super heavy climbing rope, but we're probably going to need it. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. Again, I'm going to have to, um... going to have to go through my pack and get organized before we head out. Wow! That was like four flares. <laughs> we got a ton of flares, too. Or not a ton, but... 19. Assuming this thing is loaded. One in it. Come on, Will. What are you carrying? 118 pounds? That's nothing. Dude, you're going to hit the gym. <laughs> can we open this box up? No. Can Will even get upstairs? That's the big question. All right, I think I got everything here. If not, let me know. If you spotted anything that I might have missed, I'll read through the comments before recording the next episode. And we will not leave this place until then. So, in the meantime, like I said, I'm going to get organized, cook up some food, get a nice fire going over here. Can we get it going in the fireplace? Because that would be amazing. I'd love to get a fire going in the fireplace. Yeah. Good old hunting lodge. Oh, another fire log down there, in fact. Yeah, we'll grab it. I've got some fond memories of hunting in uh, Vermont and spending... Weekends in hunting lodges. Outdoor activities. You can't go wrong with that. Hunting and fishing. And then coming back to the lodge to warm up. Playing cards. Cooking up some of the... Uh, some of your kills. Maybe you got some fish. Maybe you got a deer. Maybe you did some grouse hunting. A rabbit or whatever it happens to be. All good times. So, in fact, we don't have anything to cook right now, do we? <laughs> Did we grab any food here? No, there's no food. Holy cow. All right, well, let's add some fuel. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Add fuel, please. There we go. Two hours, and I think... Um, <laughs> put that thing down. Yeah, toss it over there <laughs> by the wooden uh, cabinets. Great. It should be okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to go out maybe do some hunting. I'd like to get some fresh rabbit, maybe even some fresh wolf. We'll cook it right up here on the uh, on the fire. I mean, what the heck? It's a hunting lodge, right? Let's do it. Put another fire log on there, man. Those things burn forever. <laughs> All right, I can't do it right now because I'm too weighted down. But I think um, I think I am gonna do that off camera, and then we'll uh, we shall reconvene in the next episode. So hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye bye. Oh, this is so nice.